What's up, everybody? It's Tony Vinshale. It's me coming to you today. I'm driving. Yes, I'm driving. Um, but I wanted to talk, and I don't have anybody to talk to because I'm in the car by myself. So I figured I'd just talk to you guys on the camera. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this issue that I've been having for a very long time. Okay? And I'm probably going to say some stuff that is going to make some people upset. And it's okay. Because I care, but I don't really care that much. So that works out pretty well for me. So let me, let me, just, let me just go ahead and come out with what I want to say, okay? This whole be thick, I'm fat and I'm happy movement. You know, a man doesn't want a woman with bones. He wants a woman with meat. Um, no, you may be thinner than me, but guess what? I'm prettier than you. This whole, this whole movement, I'm fat and I'm happy. I'm thick and I'm happy. I'm this and I'm that. This whole movement is really starting to get on my nerves, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, before I get started, and, and before anybody anybody comes for me on my page, I'm not saying that I have a problem with people who are overweight. That is not what I am saying. And I'm not saying that if you are overweight that you are not allowed to, to be confident in yourself or you're not allowed to feel as though you are beautiful. That is absolutely not what I am saying. And if you try to take it that way, it's because you want to take it that way. But that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, though, is that I think that this movement is is really just an excuse for people who are overweight to be complacent. It's really just an excuse for people to stay fat. And I'm going to say something, and I'm going to and I'm going to make myself very clear. Um, I'm a little bit distracted because I, I I am driving, and there's some people that uh, for some reason don't like the idea of the turn signal, but. It's really starting to get on my nerves, but um, this is this is my thing. It is not okay to be overweight. Point blank, period, end of story. I don't care about these pictures that say I have a man and I'm a size 15 and you're a size 2 and you don't have a man. Like, none of that matters. None of that matters. The fact that you're pretty, the fact that you have a man, the fact that you know, people around you say that they want more meat. None of that matters when you end up having a heart attack. None of that is going to matter when you end up developing type 2 diabetes. None of that is going to matter when you end up developing high blood pressure. Nothing is going to happen. It's not going to matter when you develop dyslipidemia. It's not going to matter when you start experiencing hormonal imbalances in your older age. It's not going to matter when your visceral fat is 25. And if you don't know what visceral fat is, you can look it up. V-I-S-C-E-R-A-L. Visceral fat. Look it up. None of that is going to matter. It's not going to matter. And I'm not saying that people who are not overweight cannot experience problems. That's not that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying though is that if you are overweight, you are more likely to experience problems than somebody who is not overweight. And this whole idea of I'm fat and I'm happy, I'm thick. No, some of you who say you are thick, you are not thick. You are fat. When your curves have curves, you are overweight. You are not thick and fine. Don't hit me in my inbox and tell me, oh, I'm not really fat. I just need to lose some weight around my stomach. No, you don't just need to lose weight around your stomach. You need to lose weight around your everywhere. And I get sick of hearing that. Well, how much will you charge me just to help me lose the weight off of my stomach? What? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand I don't get it I really don't get it 
And I'm not saying that I don't want people to be confident. It's okay to be confident. It's okay to love yourself. But if you really love yourself, you're going to do what you need to do to get yourself out of that situation. Point blank, period, end of story. And like I said, some of you are not going to like it. Some of you are going to be upset. Some of you are going to dislike my page, unfriend me, send me death threats via carrier pigeon. And I don't really care because part of the Becoming a Stronger You movement is teaching people to look at yourself in the mirror and be responsible for where you are. Look at yourself in the mirror and be responsible for your own fitness, your own health, and your own wellness. And take full responsibility. I don't want to hear that mess. My doctor told me that I'm just a healthy, fat person. What? They told you that because they haven't figured out a way to help you lose weight yet. And that's a very professional way or an unprofessional way of saying, you know what? I don't really know what the hell it's going to take to help you. Or I've always been big. You've always been whatever it is that you choose to allow yourself to be. And don't get me wrong. I know what it's like to be super skinny and be made fun of because I'm super skinny. I know what it's like to have kids and put on all of this weight. And you just like, man, where did all of this weight come from? Why do I have all of this weight now? How do I get myself back to to a place where I can be comfortable with myself? I know what that's like. And I know what it's like to make excuses. And I knew what it was like when I was saying, you know what? I'm thick. I got a fat ass. You know, my tits are swollen now because I've got all this extra weight on me. And you know what? I'm thick and I'm happy. I know what it's like to make that excuse. But be honest with yourself. A lot of people who make that excuse, you're making that excuse because you don't want to put in the work that it's going to take to get you healthier. I'm not saying that everybody has to be real thin. I'm not real thin. I had somebody call me skinny today. Somebody was like, you don't know what it's like to be my size. You know, what do you know, Miss Skinny? I was like, what? Excuse me? If you think I'm skinny, Lord Jesus, what do you think about the skinny people? You must think that they are deathly zombies or something like that. Right? I don't consider myself skinny. You know. And I'm in a phase right now where I'm putting some on and and, and in about a month or so I'm going to be cutting down. Right? But I'm taking full responsibility for where I am and for what I'm doing and for my own programming. This whole idea of, you know, I'm thick. I'm thicker than you and I can take your man. You know, I took my man from a size two. That's fine. You're not going to be his woman too long when you're laying up in the hospital with a heart attack. AKA death. So I know I, I go on these rants often, but for some reason, I, I, you know, whatever, it's just, it's been getting on my nerves. Like it's coming across my timeline too much, entirely too much. I'm not fat, I'm thick and fine. No, you're fat. Dang, like be honest with yourself. Like stop freaking lying to yourself. I'm not saying that you can't say that you're pretty. I'm not saying that you can't be confident, but you need to be confident as you work towards becoming a stronger you. You need to be confident as you work towards becoming a healthier person. But looking in your in the mirror every day and lying to yourself and telling yourself that 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 having a visceral fat of 15 is okay. Lying to yourself and 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 telling yourself that being 62% body fat is okay. Is asinine. It's asinine and it's ridiculous and I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't get it. And then you want to make all these memes about skinny girls. Or you want to make all these memes about thin girls. You know, a man wants meat in his bikini. What? I mean, that's fine. And I'm not saying that, that that big girls can't wear bikinis. Big girls can wear whatever the hell they want to wear. That's not my business. And, and it's not my problem. However you choose to express yourself. But what I do have an issue with is when you try to justify being unhealthy by body shaming a subset of the population who is smaller than you are. 
And don't get me wrong, I have a problem when thin girls do it to big girls too. I mean, it's it's wrong all the all the way around. But this is just becoming ridiculous. And I and I'm passionate about this because this is happening a lot more in the black community as far as what I can see. This whole, you know, I'm thick and I'm fine and 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 let me show you my big girl t-shirt and all of this like I'm sorry you shouldn't want to be that big yes I said it yes I said it God help me and forgive me if this is a me if this is being mean or whatever but I am so passionate about this and it is getting on my nerves yes I said it you shouldn't want to be that big you shouldn't want to be at risk You should, you should not want that for yourself. And, and for you to sit here and body shame other people or to make to, to lie to yourself and make yourself think that it is okay, is it's a problem. It's a problem. And I don't understand why we are not seeing that as a problem. Size doesn't matter. Well, you know what? Size does matter. Yes, it does. It does. It matters. And nobody wants to say it. And everybody wants to sugarcoat it. And everybody wants to make everybody feel all nice and warm and frou frou la la and happy. But no, it, it matters. If you are 65, 75, 85 pounds overweight, that is a problem. Point blank, period. End of story. It is a problem. It is not okay. It has never been okay. It will never be okay. If your baby is 13 years old, that is no longer baby fat. You're just fat. Be real. If your child is 15 years old, all of that weight is not the same weight that you put on from when you had the baby. And I know this is rough and I know some people might say that this is mean and some of you all might get mad. But 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 what I'm trying to 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 get across is this idea that we cannot continue to lie to ourselves and think that this is okay. You cannot continue to be overweight and and not be concerned about potentially developing high blood pressure. You cannot continue to sit up and say, "Okay, I'm going to sit up in here and eat crap all day and think that it's not going to cause you a problem later." You are going to pay the piper, whether you pay the piper today or whether you pay the piper 15 years from now when you were laid up in the hospital. Everybody has to pay the piper. You've got to pay the price. And yes, working out is hard. And no, it's not easy. And yes, you have to turn down some things that you want some of the time. And you can't eat everything that you want all the time. Yes, it is a lifestyle. And it is difficult in the beginning. And it is uncomfortable. But if you put your mind to it, you can do it. And I know social psychology says don't point at the camera. So I point it. So what? If you put your mind to it, you can do it. If you make the decision that you want to be healthier, that you want to be fitter, that you want to have a better body, you can do it. Will it take time? Absolutely. Can you get it done in four weeks? Probably not. But can you get it done over a period of time? Yes, you can. So start taking steps towards becoming a stronger you. Stop, start taking steps towards becoming a, 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 a healthier person. Stop, start taking steps to start becoming honest with yourself. And stop looking in the mirror and lying at yourself talking about I'm fat and I'm happy. Don't nobody want to be skinny. Well, guess what? People don't wake up in the morning and say, oh my God, Lord, Jesus, I think I want some high blood pressure today. Lord, where is the lipidemia, the, hy the hyperlipidemia? I need that in my life. Like nobody wakes up and says that. Nobody jumps up in the morning and is like, oh Lord, yes, let's go get some diabetes. Nobody says that. But that's what you're putting yourself at risk for. So again, like I said, I know that I know that this is rough. I know that it's harsh. I know some of you are not going to like it. Some of you are going to get upset, unfriend, defriend, dislike, whatever it is that you want to do. But I'm real and I shoot straight from the hip. And if you ask me, if 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 you if you ask my opinion on something, I'm going to tell you the truth. Like, stop hitting me in my inbox talking about you're not fat. You just need to lose your belly fat. No, you are fat and you need to lose fat all over. And I'm not saying that because I'm, I'm I want to be mean. I'm saying that because I want you to be honest with yourself because I want to be able to help you. But I can't help you. Nobody can help you if you keep lying to yourself. 
So this is an episode of Yeah, I Said It. What's up? Get at me.